Hi, good morning. Today is the 3rd of May and we continue meditating on Revelation chapter 7 verse 11. All the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God. So why should we worship God? Hannah is going to give us an answer in her song in 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 2. There is, no, there is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one beside you. There is no rock like our God. So Hannah was this woman uh, who could not bear a child. And then she prayed to God and God gave her Samuel, who became one of the greatest prophets of the Old Testament. And she straight away gave him back to God. And she sings. And then she sang in her song, which is very close to the Magnificat, which is Mary's song in the book of Luke. And she is saying that there is no one who is holy like our God. That's why we have to worship him. And David in 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 22 says, How great you are, sovereign Lord. There is no one like you and there is no God but you, as we have heard with our own eyes. There is no one like you. That's why you have to worship God, because there is no one like him. No one. You are not never going to find anyone who is who could be compared to our Lord. And in the book of Revelation, the creator of the universe, the God who is sitting on the throne, and the Lamb, who is God, is being worshipped forever. So we should be worshipping him today, because he's the, the most high God, he's the Holy One. And David, in, in Psalm 24, verses 7 to 10, saying it in, the, in Handel's Messiah, says, lift up your heads, you gates, be lifted up your ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates, lift them up, your ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the King of glory. He is the King of glory. He is the King of glory. That's why we should worship him. He is the Holy One. That's why we should worship him. And there is, there is no worship in Babylon, as we saw in Revelation. Worship belongs to those who are the New Jerusalem. There is blasphemy, corruption, and death in Babylon. But if you are in the New Jerusalem, if you are the New Jerusalem of God, you are going to worship him forever. Not just forever, but even now, forever now, you worship him because he's the Holy One. There is no one like him, as David is saying. And of course, there is lots of amazing things pe prepared for those who live a life of worship, for those who, who live a life worshiping the one who was, who is, and is to come. God bless you.